Hey y'all, I'm Nikki, this is Max, and you're watching Max's Mom's Creations. So I know y'all have heard me talk about the fact that we have a shop where we hand make materials, products for your cats and dogs. Well today we're going to do something a little different. Up till now I've been kind of teaching you about food and healthy animals and things like that. Today I want to show you one of the products that we make in our shop that I think a lot of you could find really handy. So this is the basic dog carrier that we make and sell in our shop called Max's Mom's Creations. Right now we're only on Etsy, but I'm really working on getting a website up. So soon there'll be a website and I'll let you know when that comes up. But this is our most popular product. This is what we have been known for. So for strength, that was something that was really important to our customers is that this is a very strong carrier because I'm <laughs> and Max wants to come in because um, I make this carrier for everything from an extra small all the way up to an extra extra large so it has to be something that's going to be able to carry your dog and you feel comfortable with so this is made with several layers of heavy-duty duck cloth and every place where the, the seams are the load bearing seams are all double or triple sewn depending on where they are but these are all super strong seams and these handles are sewn on both sides all the way down. So that makes for a good strong connection. So that's not gonna come loose. The inside of these is actually one continuous piece of material. There's no seam on the weight bearing areas. So that's gonna give you the strength of that duck cloth. There's not even a seam that could come loose. So this is a good, strong, durable carrier. So we've tried to make an attractive carrier. This is our classic blue look. Um, got dark blue duck cloth and a striped blue and cream ticking. And the handles and the inside are both cream. So that's our navy blue, our classic. Now I don't have a red one on hand, but these, this is the material that we use to make the red one. So imagine the blue one in red. So the red duck cloth, the uh, striped red and cream ticking, the inside of it would be cream and the handles as well. So that's our fiery red. And then this back here is our classic black. 100% black inside, outside, the handles are black, everything. So that's our classic black, that's a very popular color. We specifically make these so that the handle drop from the top of the carrier to the top of the handle is about 12 inches so that when you're carrying your dog, your dog is right here at a really comfortable height, so you feel comfortable and your dog feels comfortable being close to you. Between the handles, we have these pockets, so you can put things in them that you need to carry. Pockets on each side, and depending on the size of the carrier, the pocket can get a little bit bigger or smaller, but we try to keep the, um, I try to keep the handles as far apart as I can, um, so on the bigger ones, they tend to get pretty far apart, but that helps the carrier not be quite so tippy. So if your dog is riding closer to the front or riding closer to the back, it kind of holds it a little bit more stable so they feel a little bit more secure. Okay, so Max wasn't having any of that. I tried to get him to stay outside the room during this so that I could show the carriers. Mm -mm. He wants to be with Mama. So he's just going to be in here. Another thing that we add to our carriers is this little D-ring right here. This is so that if you have like a little treat pouch, this is the one that we make here at Maximum's Creations. If you got a little, little treat pouch that's got a little clip on it, you can clip it on there. This is like a poo bag holder, again, that we make. Um, that can clip right on there. So then you've got pretty much all the accessories, everything you need. Anything else that you have that has a clip on it, you can clip on there. Just kind of a little extra set of hands for you. It does have a tether inside of it that you can clip onto your dog's. Max wants to get in. Every time he sees a carrier, he thinks we're going somewhere. He gets all excited. This has a little tether. It clips onto the back of your dog's collar. It has an adjustment on it so that you can make it longer or shorter depending on your dog and how they sit in the carrier. So that's the basic carrier. Now, one other really cool feature is the bottom. This fits right into the bottom of it and it's quilted 
so it's a little cushion there and it's um it's 100 washable so this this piece is the easiest piece to just take out and wash it has this piece of wood in the bottom of it so you take that piece of wood out and now this you can just throw in your laundry because this is you know muddy feet and all that kind of thing comes out of your laundry put the piece of wood right back in there slip it right back into the bottom of your carrier and you're good to go that gives your dog a little platform a little something to stand on and gives them a little room to move around so that's a really great feature so our dog carriers we we have five standard sizes i'm reading that piece piece of paper because I'm never going to remember. We have five standard sizes, all the way from extra small all the way up to extra, extra large. Would that be six sizes? I think that's six sizes. So um, the extra small, this is a small, the one that I've been showing you, this is the size that Max fits in. So that's the one that I usually make. The extra small is um, the standard for it, is 12 inches long, three inches wide, and seven inches tall. So that's our extra small. Then we go all the way up to an extra, extra large, which fits a dog up to, hold on, I can't read these numbers, 26 inches long, 12 inches wide, and 22 inches tall. And yes, we have made some bigger than that, so if you've got a dog that's bigger than that, we can still do that. So I think that extra, extra large at that size, I think that is the biggest one I have ever seen on the market. I don't think anybody's making anything bigger than that. If you've seen one that's bigger, let me know. But I don't, I don't, I've never seen one bigger. Mostly that one is for people who have to take their, have to put their dogs into a carrier in order to take them on public transportation, things like that. So you're not carrying your dog. When you got a 40 pound dog, you're not slinging that thing over your shoulder. That's to put your dog in while they're on the, on the public transportation. And as soon as you get off, you hook your leash onto them and walk them and then you just carry the carrier. So those are our standard sizes, but how many dogs are really a standard size? So think about it. Max here, Max is a Chihuahua. So he's got a little bit of Chihuahua. He's half Chihuahua, half Dachshund. So he's got the kind of long Dachshund body, but not really as long as a Dachshund. And he's got the kind of long chihuahua legs, but not really as long as a chihuahua. So he's kind of right in the middle. But think about just the difference between the kind of carrier a dachshund would need versus the kind of carrier a chihuahua would need. Or even think about a larger dachshund and a whippet. They could both be 15 pound dogs, but they're not gonna need the same size carrier by any means. That's why people contact me all the time and they say, hey, I have a 12 pound dog, I have a 15 pound dog, what size would you, would you suggest? I can't tell you what size. I have to know your dog's length, height, width, in order to be able to figure out those dimensions to make the perfect carrier for you. I have these standard sizes which fit some dogs, but if you've got a dog that doesn't quite fit all of those, I can make a carrier specifically for you. I just need to know these four measurements and I'm going to show you right now. So a lot of you have been asking about how to measure your dog to make sure that you get the perfect fit for one of our dog carriers. So Max is going to be our little model here. He's going to show us how to do it. The first measurement we need is his height. So just stand right there, Max. You're doing good. You get your tape measure and from the top of their shoulder right there to the table and so he's 10 inches tall so that's what you would tell me is height 10 inches next measurement we're going to need is length so from the back of his collar right there to basically right there at the end of his butt right there that's his length and so he is 13 inches long now probably the hardest measurement to get is width and this one's a, this one's a little tough so we're going to do a close-up on this so that you can really see what i'm doing okay so to measure your dog's width this is the way that i do it what you want is you want the widest part of their body so he's got a trimmer back end but he's got a big rib cage so that's where i would measure so this is how i do it i take the tape measure between my thumbs and i put this thumb right at the zero and then I just drape it over this thumb and then I put my hands on either side of him 
And then so that gives me his width measurement. So he is five inches wide. So that was how, that's the easiest way I've found to measure their width. Okay, so the last measurement we need is the height. Basically, there's a, right here on their chest, there's like a big breastbone, and right above that's kind of a hollow spot in their throat. You kind of want it right around that area. And this is just so that I know how high to make the little cutout for them to look out. Because some dogs are all leg, and some dogs are more body, and so I can't really judge that 100% just by their general height. So, so that your dog doesn't get choked when he's trying to look out, or so that he doesn't, you know, almost fall out when he goes to look out. I want to get this height just right. So you measure right from the top of that little spot right down to the floor without him looking down. So he's approximately seven inches from the from that spot to that spot. So that's how high I would make that cut out so that he feels safe and so that he's comfortable when he's trying to look out. So that's the basics about the carrier. I've told you the construction, how they're made, and basically how to get the proper size, the proper fit for your dog. But there's a lot more to this carrier than what I've showed you so far. So we're going to be doing another video with all of the add-ons that you can make use to make this carrier perfect for you too. So if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up subscribe, hit the little bell, and definitely go check out our shop because there's a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of cool stuff for dogs. We'll be showcasing some of it here, but go check out our shop. The link is in the, is in the description below. So I think that's it for this week. So from Max and I, we'd like to say, go make today an adventure and take your best friend with you too. Bye y'all. <laughs>